Billions of stars shine across the vast tapestry of the universe, each glowing beacon whispering the same timeless question that has captivated humanity for millennia. Are we alone in the cosmos? With each leap in science and technology, we inch closer to an answer. Now, a revolutionary piece of engineering has entered the scene. The James Webb Space Telescope, an instrument that acts like a time machine and magnifying glass combined, peering deeper into space than any telescope before it and revealing secrets once hidden in cosmic shadows. This marvel of modern science recently turned its gaze to a distant and mysterious exoplanet known as K218b. The initial findings were nothing short of astonishing. Scientists observed signs of water vapor in the planet's atmosphere, an essential ingredient for life as we know it. But that wasn't all. The James Webb Space Telescope detected a molecule on K218b that stirred the scientific community. A molecule commonly associated with biological activity on Earth. Could this be the first clue, the first tangible hint, that life might exist beyond our tiny blue planet? In this episode of Waves Discovery, we'll journey into the remarkable discovery of K218b, uncovering the science, the mystery, and the potentially world-changing implications hidden within this alien world's atmosphere. Join us as we explore whether this strange planet might be the first place where signs of extraterrestrial life are finally detected. K218b lies about 120 light-years away from Earth in the constellation Leo. It belongs to a rare class of planets known as sub-Neptunes, worlds larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. Unlike anything in our solar system, sub-Neptunes occupy a mysterious space in planetary classification. They're not quite rocky like Earth, nor are they gas giants like Jupiter. This makes them challenging to study, as we have no nearby examples for comparison. Despite the difficulty, astronomers were able to gather compelling data. K218b orbits its parent star, a red dwarf named K218, within the so-called habitable zone, the region where conditions may be just right for liquid water to exist. However, this planet's orbit is much closer to its star than Earth's is to the Sun. In fact, while Earth orbits the Sun at one astronomical unit, O, K218b orbits at a mere 0.18 astronomical units. That's even closer than Mercury is to our Sun. Ordinarily, such proximity would spell doom for any planet hoping to host life. But K218, the red dwarf star it orbits, emits significantly less heat than our Sun. This cooler nature prevents the planet from being scorched, despite its close orbit. And this delicate balance has produced a tantalizing result. The detection of water vapor in K218b's atmosphere. Water vapor alone is intriguing, but what elevated this discovery to extraordinary levels was the presence of methane and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Two molecules that can also be tied to life processes. But the real headline? A potential detection of dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. This compound, on Earth, is produced almost exclusively by living organisms, particularly by microbial life in oceans. The possibility of DMS in an exoplanet's atmosphere is one of the most compelling pieces of indirect evidence we've ever encountered. Why is this significant? Because DMS doesn't tend to form through non-biological processes. It's a byproduct of life, and its presence on another planet, if confirmed, could point towards some form of biological activity. That being said, this finding is still preliminary and requires further observation. Nevertheless, it's enough to stir serious scientific excitement. K218b's atmosphere appears to be rich in hydrogen, which plays a vital role in maintaining surface pressure and temperature, potentially making it hospitable. If the atmosphere is stable, then temperatures on K218b could be warm enough to support liquid water, possibly even vast oceans. But these oceans would likely differ from Earth's, warmer, deeper, and subjected to higher pressures, all due to the planet's immense size and dense atmospheric envelope. This idea has led to the rise of a new planetary category, the Hycean world. Coined by Professor Niku Madhusudan and his team at the University of Cambridge, Hycean planets are a proposed class of water-rich exoplanets covered by oceans and shrouded in hydrogen-heavy atmospheres. 
These worlds could be up to 10 times more massive than Earth and still retain the right conditions for microbial life. Despite surface temperatures reaching around 200 degrees Celsius, these planets might still support life thanks to the thick atmosphere acting as a greenhouse, regulating heat and maintaining stable internal environments. The pressure and temperature at certain ocean depths on Hycean planets could mirror the conditions of Earth's deep ocean trenches, where life thrives in extreme environments. What makes Hycean worlds particularly exciting is their abundance and detectability. Sub-Neptunes are among the most common types of exoplanets observed in our galaxy, and their larger sizes make them easier to detect and study. This puts planets like K218b at the forefront of the search for life beyond Earth. The JWST played a critical role in this investigation by employing a technique called transit spectroscopy. When K218b passes in front of its star from our vantage point, some of the starlight filters through the planet's atmosphere. By analyzing the spectrum of this filtered light, scientists can identify the chemical fingerprints of molecules in the atmosphere. Light behaves predictably when it passes through different gases. Each type of molecule absorbs certain wavelengths of light. By splitting this light into its component parts, like a prism turning sunlight into a rainbow, scientists can spot the telltale signs of various compounds. When specific wavelengths are missing, they act as clues pointing to the presence of methane, water vapor, carbon dioxide, or even more exotic molecules like dimethyl sulfide. Despite all these promising leads, the search for life on K218b is far from over. There are still many unanswered questions. Could there be non-biological explanations for the presence of DMS and methane? Could geologic or chemical processes, unknown to us, be responsible? These are the puzzles that ongoing and future JWST observations aim to solve. JUST's observations are methodical, precise, and time-consuming. A total of five hours, split into two observing sessions, were dedicated solely to studying K218b during its transits. This meticulous planning is necessary due to how subtle these signals can be. But the payoff is monumental. These observations could mark the beginning of a new era in exoplanetary science. The excitement surrounding K218b isn't just limited to its potential habitability. It represents a paradigm shift in how we look for life in the universe. For years, our focus remained fixated on Earth-like rocky planets, but K218b, and other Hycean worlds like it, are changing that narrative. Life, it seems, may not need to evolve under Earth-like conditions after all. Imagine vast, alien oceans shrouded in thick clouds, warmed by the gentle light of a red dwarf star. Life, if it exists there, would not be walking on solid ground, but swimming beneath pressure-crushed seas, shielded from radiation by dense hydrogen skies. This vision is as poetic as it is possible, and it's within our reach to confirm or dismiss it in the coming years. In the search for extraterrestrial life, K218b stands out as one of the most compelling candidates yet. Its unique combination of atmospheric conditions, size, orbit, and potential biosignatures makes it a cosmic laboratory unlike any other. It reminds us that life might not only exist in the familiar, it might be hiding in the truly alien. So what do you think? Is K218b harboring the building blocks of life, or something even more extraordinary? Could we be on the verge of discovering our first alien neighbors, not in a desert or forest, but beneath warm, planet-wide oceans under a pink-red sky. Let us know in the comments below. And if you're as fascinated by this mystery as we are, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Discovery at 2.0 for more explorations into the deepest questions of science and the universe. Share this video to help others experience the wonder of this astonishing find. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned, because the universe is just getting started.